knows how to read a room. Um, you know, he's good in a negotiation. But when the bullets start to fly, the fists start to fly, I had to make him at least a little bit competent or else I figured he'd be dead in a year. Yeah. But I also didn't want to make him Chuck Norris, right? Like I liked the idea <laughs> of an action hero who who got his ass kicked a little bit and over and over, like not just like McLean and Die Hard who does it, but Took gives out as good as he yeah. yeah, like I wanted a guy who lost most of his fights, who couldn't shoot a gun, who needed the sidekick to bail him out more than he bailed them out. Like I wanted to make that guy the hero of the novel, which is why it was written in first person, because I didn't want to give myself a cheat when the action scenes really started and be able to switch to the POV of the person who was good at that stuff. Mm -hmm. I wanted to stay with the guy who I hoped was like the reader who was like, gosh, as I was in this situation, I'd just be trying to stay alive too, just like him. And I found that really fun to write. And it also meant I didn't have to spend hours researching Krav Maga moves because my guy was getting beat up after he landed one punch, so it really didn't matter. You Rick know? wasn't like, going to do him. <laughs> Rick wasn't going to do it. No, Rick was just going to wail away and hope that he connected before he got knocked on the ground and beat up. You know, And I liked that. That was a lot of fun to do that with him. Yeah, I like that about Rick, too. Confident guy. I felt like he could hold his own in a fist fight, but I definitely could sense the tone of, like, that wasn't his strong point. His strong mm -hmm. point was his connections, his relationships, his negotiation, like you said. And he wasn't going to back down from a fight, but he wasn't the guy who's going to start one. Um, mm -hmm. And when the bullets start flying, he would rather not be in that room. 100%. Because I would rather not be in that room. You know, <laughs> That's like, okay. yeah, all of us. Yeah. <laughs> it's not me. Not me at all. And it, I mean, it's a little, it's a tiny spoiler, but um, a lot of people die in the book. Rick never actually pulls the trigger himself on any of the deaths. Like the people that are killed around him, he's never the one that does it. And I, I, that was another conscious decision. You know, I didn't want him to be the one to actually do that because I liked the idea, again, of an action hero that has a zero body count, basically. Again, in the thriller, I don't know that I've ever seen that. The closest I could come to, and I think he still has a body count, is um, uh, Jack Burton in Big Trouble in Little China, right? Which is the original turning the trope on its head because Jack Burton, the Kurt Russell character is the sidekick in that movie, but he acts like he's the hero. And I love that. And that was sort of the vibe I was going for. So the recruiters coming out in July, mm -hmm. you're going to go on, you're going to go on a, a book tour, do some events. Um, once it's out, what's next for Greg is, are we into book two? Is there a book two? Is there a new project that you're working on? Book two is written. It is with Blackstone, with my editor. Uh, we're waiting for their feedback and their review. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they like it and they want to continue it. Um, I mean, they're marketing it as a series. It says a Rick Carter novel. They've sort of embraced the idea. Uh, I leave it open at the end, you know, uh, for a sequel. Um, not in a cliffhanger way, but I think of it more of like the Marvel MCU stinger. You know, mm -hmm. that, that sort of end credit yeah, scene where the definitely. main story is wrapped up, but, you know, there's there's something else going on. So it'll pick up with that. Uh, and the sequel is a little bit bigger, um, more action, a little bit funnier, um, but a completely different. It's not a rehash of the recruiter. The stakes are a little bit bigger. There's more people involved. Um, and that one was a ton of fun, too. And I'd love to keep the series going. I mean, if I have my way, this will be a book a year, you know, and we'll just keep this thing rolling until readers tell me to stop. Are there any other uh, genres that you want to write in? I loved horror. Stephen King's my favorite author. That's what I started reading seriously. My first, uh, I guess, grown-up book was Jaws, uh, and then quickly on the heels of that, Cujo. So I started to write a little bit of horror. Um, that wasn't really anything I found myself being particularly good at because, again, I think with horror, you got to go a little bit darker than I'm comfortable going. I tend to want to pull back a bit uh, from the really dark stuff because uh, I just don't enjoy writing it. I don't always enjoy reading it. Stephen King nails it. He's got the sweet spot, um, but that's not for me. There's uh, the two trunk novels I mentioned. One is a straight up just comedy. It's, you know, the goal was to write family guy in novel form, like that kind of vibe. Wow. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't know anybody would ever want to read it, but like that's sort yeah, of, you never know, you know, you that's that. Know. Uh, I, I, maybe I'll dip into one of those two trunk novels or I'll, you know, I'll come up with a standalone idea, but I'm loving Rick too much. You know, I would love, like I said, to just kind of keep this thing going. The book comes out July 23rd, I think, yep. right? 
Um, yep. It hits shelves. You can order it online and all the different versions. Um, the phone rings tomorrow. Uh, the, it's the day after publication day. The phone mm-hmm. rings in Greg's house. It's Ryan Reynolds on the other end. He wants, <laughs> he wants, he wants the book. He wants to do a movie. What do you say to him? Uh, absolutely. I, I mean, that's not even a, that's not even a question. That is, <laughs> that's one of those moments where I kind of pinch myself so hard it bruises, you know, like that's, but again, it doesn't, to make it into a movie is sort of one of those things that if it happens, great, but if not, uh, you know, just having it out in the world and having people be able to read it, like that's really what I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to the most. 